Josh, shut up. Can you be quiet for one goddamn second? I'm trying to think here. No, you're not fucking helping. You're just distracting me. Okay. I need to find a way to get us out of here alive, and you are not helping. Amazing, but I've already gone through all of them. Just because I saved you doesn't mean I'm gonna fucking be nice to you. It's the end of the world, and right now, I don't have time to be nice, to sugarcoat everything and treat you like a little baby. Right now, we just need to get the hell out of here before those things catch up to us. Yes, those things, those zombies. Fuck it. Okay. I am not your babysitter. If you can't defend yourself, then that's gonna drag down the both of us. I saved you out of the pure good of my heart, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be your righteous hero all the time. So get your good old ass out of the gutter and grab a weapon and help me. Okay. This is what we're going to do. We're going to board up all the windows, barricade everything, and you're going to wait. Wait this out. Or at least until they're distracted by something else and they'll just leave. They can't stay here forever. They're probably going to forget or something. I mean, their brains are like rotting anyways, right? Okay. I'm calm. I'm fine. Let's just get this done and over with. We should be tools in the garage. Hey, have you checked the pantry yet? How long do you think the food will last us? Good, okay. A couple weeks, huh? Look, I... I'm sorry for snapping earlier. Didn't mean to shake you up or anything. I guess that's kind of impossible to do when you're in the middle of an undead apocalypse, but... Yeah, whatever it's worth. I'm really bad at apologies. I usually just kind of wait drama out and hope that they eventually forgive me. Oh god. Now that I think of it, there isn't anyone that's really mad at me right now except you because they're probably all dead or the living dead, so there's that. Yeah, reality is starting to kick in. Okay, um... I'll... I'll go check the computer, see if there's any... see if there's any, you know, like... passwords laying around. We should be able to get something running. Hopefully the gas pipes aren't broken or anything. But I also kind of assume that everything's going to shut down in a few days because there's no one to maintain anything. That's, that's always a great sign. We need to, we need to rest. We are not going to be able to do anything if we've been awake for over 24 hours. Well, I guess pulling all-nighters for high school did prepare me for something. The end of the fucking world. Okay. Let's... There are pillows on the couch, so... Yeah, we kind of had to barricade that one bedroom. But otherwise, we should be fine. And... Well... We should also pack up as much food as possible. Just, you know, 
in case the zombies start to leave us alone and there is a chance to escape. Well, I really just said zombies in a serious manner. Who knew? This is going to be a long ride. <laughs>